So, I got a big trip coming up soon. TJ came from Scotland to visit me, so I am going to visit them. Now, I don't travel a lot. I don't even drive. And I envy people for whom travel is second nature, right? People who travel for work, that kind of thing. Because I am all nerves all the time. Years ago, I nearly ended a four-day train trip to VidCon uh, about three hours in by getting off at the wrong stop. And the last train trip I took, I missed a stop and wound up in a completely different city. I do a lot of things to cope. I always have a place for my passport and my itinerary, even when I'm at home, so I always know where it is. I never have to look for it. I make the standard list and I check travel blogs to see if there's other things that should be on my list because I'm always trying to think about problems that I haven't been able to think about yet. Right? What are the questions I don't know to ask? You will find me in airports constantly walking, right? memorizing every piece of it until I can find sort of the perfect place where my brain tells me to nest. Wi-Fi coverage, coffee shops, power outlets, it all sort of gets filed away. There's about three or four airports in the world where I can just walk through it or walk through a particular terminal in my head. Now, I love airports and flying is a delight, but I also know that everything I have with me I need, and so I always need to keep track of it at all times. The constant inventory of that is also designed to distract my brain, which consistently thinks it sees people I know even 5,000 kilometers from home. I mean, I am afraid of travel. I am afraid of it because I am new at it, and I respect the power that inheres in being able to do it. I never thought I'd have the means to get on a plane and cross an ocean, and in a couple weeks it'll be my third trip. I love the feeling of when a plane's about to leave a runway, and I never want it to get boring. I always mumble to myself, I'm like, and they always slip the bonds of earth and soar amidst the heavens because I always want that to be sort of a poetic moment. I like meeting new people in those kinds of liminal spaces between places. I have a mandatory extrovert policy when traveling. I am not allowed to be withdrawn or sullen. I have to be friendly to the people I meet and make friends with them. You will find me at crowded power outlets with a power strip which super helps you make friends. You will find me dispensing extra granola bars to travelers if they need one. If travel is about living in the moment, then I want to seize it. I don't want to be anxious about it. I want to move through that. I want to be like all the good travelers I've read about. Right, like the Sandman and Wonder Woman and Merlin. You know, kind, patient, and a little bit magic. Everybody in the airport is on an adventure. Even the staff. Especially the staff. We're travelers. And in our short time together, all we have is each other. So I know what to do. Stay awesome.